Hey, what's up guys and welcome to this brand new video. In this video we'll be going over my UI. Uh, it's been a, a long wait for the UI tutorial, but it's finally here. Uh, we'll be going over my recourse as well and how to set everything up. Uh, that's all going to be included. Uh, I'm going to be splitting the video into three parts. First, we're going to go over my LVI and its extensions. Um, second, over my other useful add-ons that I've been using. And lastly, over my WeChorus. Links and downloads will be found in the description, of course, so you can download and import stuff easily. Uh, but before we get started, make sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already, because only about 5% of you guys are actually subscribed, and it would help me out a lot if you could just press the subscribe button. Um, all right, so let's get started. Feel free to pause the video at any point if, it's, if you think it's going too fast. Uh, but since I don't want this to be a 40-minute video, uh, we'll be uh, doing it somewhat fast, at least. Okay, so first of all, we're going to install the base version of LVI. Uh, some of you guys might already have this, but I'm just going to go over everything. You can just skip through it if you already have an LVI installed. So you're just going to go to tuckui.org and you're going to press on the download LVI. And it's just going to download a little file over here. And you're just going to open that. And then you get this file. You're going to extract it. And of course, you're going to get two files inside. You're just going to copy those. And then you're going to go over to your WoW, where you got WoW installed. Just going to go to Retail, Interface, Add-ons. And then you're just going to paste it in here. And um, if you want to update LVI, if you got to do the same thing. you got to download the file and just going to place it in there. Uh, you can't uh, use any add-on manager or something for it. You just have to do it manually. Um, so yeah, now that's installed, and then we're going to go over to the other parts. Okay, so next up you're going to be installing uh, some uh, add-ons for LVI. Uh, you can just use your uh, CurseForge or whatever add-on manager you're using. You're going to be looking for, to install add-on skins. This one is going to... Um, uh, like some add-ons that you're using, like details and uh, bigwigs, you're going to get uh, a cool LVI version of that. So it's going to be dark and... Uh, just going to transform the appearance a bit. Uh, that's all. Uh, then you're going to be installing Bannock UI. This one is um, really important uh, for my UI setup. It's going to include some presets as well. And it's going to add these cool little bars above your action bars. Um, so next up, you're going to be installing Enhanced again. Uh, LVI Enhanced again, Shadowlands version. Uh, this is just going to add some extra tools to LVI. Um, so you can integrate your details into um, uh, your chat box, etc. So it's going to add some uh, some extra options. Uh, next up, you're going to be installing nuts and bolts. This is going to add some cool stuff like this um, this volume bar over here that I got. So it's really easy to um, switch up your volume. Um, and lastly, for LVI, we're going to be installing Simple Rare Elite. This is just when you target a mob. It's going to add this little uh, dragon thingy. This is usually not part of LVI, but I kind of like it to have like a little um, old school uh, indicator that it's an elite mob. So that's what that add-on does. Uh, so yeah, let's just go over to a new character and uh, see how to set it all up. Okay, so I'm on this brand new character and I'm just going to be showing you how to set up your LVI. Uh, I'm just going to get started with this little LVI thingy. I'm uh, just going to go through it real quick. So you're going to press continue here. Then you're going to set up your CVARs. I'm not exactly sure what this does. Um, but yeah, just press it. Uh, and then you're going to set up your chat. It's going to split your chat into loot and trade and your logs. Um, uh, yeah. And it's uh, then you're going to press new profile. If you're using a new character, uh, and you already have your profile set up, then you can click on share profile and you can skip all of this uh, stuff that's coming now. Now, all of this doesn't really matter what you click here. Like you could, this is going to be changed later on. So um, just going to keep it at this. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter what you click here. Um, yeah, let's just click, go through it. And then you can press finished. And next up, it's going to ask for the Bannock UI stuff. This is the stuff that you actually want to set up. Okay, so we're going to be setting up Elf, uh, Bannock UI real quick. 
We're going to press continue here. We're going to be using version 3 of uh, every single time. We're going to be using LVI. This is going to set up like the base version of the uh, of the UI. But we're going to be tweaking it later. Uh, so we're going to be pressing uh, version 3, action bars version 3, and physical DPS. And we're going to be setting up our add-ons. This is going to... Um, Add the Benic UI profile to some of the add-ons that you have installed, like details and big wigs and stuff. Um, but this can be changed later on as well, so don't worry about it for now. Uh, then we're going to be pressing finished, and it's again it's going to reload. Okay, so as soon as it's ready, you have the base version of Benic UI. It's already kind of starting to look like my UI. Um, you're going to have to drag your loot window, loot and trade over here, like. Uh, right now you can see general, log, and loot and trade. I always have my loot and trade on this side, uh, including my, um, what's it called again? Uh, trade chat, of course. Um, so yeah, right, uh, the next step is going to be to install my profile for LVI. So you're going to be uh, doing slash EC. This is going to open up the LVI window. And as you can see over here, you have your add-on skins. These are like the little extensions of LVI. Um, okay, so you're gonna be going to profiles and then you're gonna click on import profile if you wanna use my uh, profile. So you're gonna be importing that and you're gonna be copying the stuff over there and then yeah, you can use my profile. I'm just gonna be going over to uh, existing profiles and select my character. Okay, so as soon as that's done, you can see it's already uh, looking a little bit like mine. It's not quite perfect yet because I don't have these shadows. Um, and when you hit something, you're not going to be having the uh, right fonts yet for the numbers. What you're going to be doing is just doing a quick relog. Okay, so as soon as it's done reloading, relogging, I mean. Uh, you can see all the shadows around the thingies have disappeared. Um, right now, this one isn't set up quite yet. Um, as you can see, it's a little bit longer than I uh, than I usually have, and it's not transparent. This is uh, a bug. I don't know why it always does this, but every new character you make, it always resets this stuff. So you're going to have to uh, do this manually. Uh, let's go to data bars. Uh, no, sorry, data text. Then you're going to go to Panels and select on Bannock UI Middle Panel. And we're going to be dragging the width down a little bit so it matches. Uh, I think it was 388 or something, if I remember correctly. Um, hold on. 388. There we go. And let's see, we can make this transparent as well. Uh, backdrop transparency. There we go. So now it's all perfectly set up. Okay, so moving on to the second part of the video, we're just going to be installing some other useful uh, add-ons that, that are part of my UI. Um, so this one is, of course, uh, details. Um, this is, of course, your damage meter. You can also use Scada or Recount. I don't know if people still use Recount, but if you still use it, then sure. <laughs> this one works as well. Uh, we're going to be installing big wigs and little wigs. Uh, this is, of course, your boss mods uh, add-on. I prefer this one over um, um, Deadly Boss Mods because it's just a lot cleaner and it makes the sounds. It doesn't scream in your face like get get out of stuff and <laughs> I don't know, man. It's uh, I just prefer big wigs over little wigs. It's personal preference. Um, and we're also going to be installing Omni CD. This is uh, the interrupt tracker that I always have on my uh, in my UI. And it also adds uh, cooldowns next to your party frames. Uh, so you can see when people uh, have their cooldowns up um, and when you can do a big pool. Um, and lastly, we're going to be installing Immersion. This uh, add-on um, adds uh, changes the UI box for um, talking to NPCs. So as you can see, uh, this is way different than the Blizzard UI. I usually have like a little uh, rectangle box. Uh, but this one uh, just adds, uh, it, it just looks a lot better uh, in my opinion. Uh, so if you want that one, you can install that one as well. Okay, so let's just go over them one by one. Uh, let's just start with details. 
Um, I always have my details set up so it does not show up in uh, when I'm not in a group. Uh, so as you can see, it's hidden right now. Uh, but if I go to uh, my detail settings, um, you can go to automation and you can slide it up. So as you can see, now my details shows up when, uh, even when I'm in a group, not in a group. And if you go slide it down, then it disappears again. Um, you can change this yourself even if you don't like that. You can also uh, just have it up here and then you can toggle it on and off down here with control uh, left click. Uh, but yeah, I just like to have it automated and um, just I don't need it when I'm solo, so it just clears up my UI a bit. Um, and yeah, you can install my profile once again, uh, just download it from the description and click import profile. Okay, so for big weeks, it's a little bit different. We're gonna do slash VW for big weeks, and then we're gonna go to um, profiles. Uh, we're just gonna reset it. There we go. And we're going to change, uh, there's no import profile, unfortunately, for Big Wix. Um, so we're just going to go to bars and we're going to click on style and we're going to set this to add on skins half bar. And we're going to set the um, uh, font to expressway. There we go. Let's see if we can create a test bar. This should already start to look like what's mine. And the only thing I've changed uh, is uh, I've changed the width of these. So emphasized bar, we're just gonna set this, uh, let's see, width, we're gonna shorten this. And the same thing for bars, we're gonna shorten these. There we go. Not exactly sure how long they are, but uh, then you're just gonna change them around, right? And that's it for Big Weeks, pretty much. Um, just set all of the fonts to um, Expressway and change it to add-on skins half bar. And that's it for Big Wix. For Omni CD, there, yeah, we can, I can show you real quick. Um, if you type slash Omni CD, and you can go to dungeons, and then you can set up uh, with on spells. You can set up every single spell that you would wanna track. It's really useful. Uh, if you click on test, you can see what it would look like. Uh, as you can see, test dungeons, it uh, shows what I'm tracking right now. And then you have your interrupt tracker over here. You can move it about, uh, you can place it wherever you want. Um, and yeah, uh, for immersion, I don't think I really need to show anything. There isn't really a lot of settings that are like important. You can tweak around it with yourself. Okay, so let's go over the last part of the video. These are my Vicoras. Um, I don't have a uh, weak aura set in the middle of my screen. I just have my action bars there because I can't be bothered to um, update it every time there's a new build. Uh, I just like to do it myself. Okay, so let's just go for my weak aura real quick then. Uh, I just have some defensives lined up here. These are all my uh, defensives that I, I use as a warrior. I even have some paladin abilities in here as well. Uh, it's just my enrage regen, my rallying cry, victory rush, etc. Um, so yeah, my defenses are over here. Uh, then I have a spell reflect, of course. This is when I reflect the spell. It shows me how much damage I did. And um, it announces it to the party. Uh, then some general warrior stuff. I have my battle shout. So as soon as there is a battle shout missing in the party, it uh, lights up. Then I have fresh meat. So this is, of course, for your fresh meat talent. Um, it shows you uh, when you've hit a mob and it marks it so you know uh, you don't have to hit that mob again to get a free enrage. Um, uh, Merciless Bone Grider, this is really useful to track as well uh, these days with the conduit, it's super powerful. Uh, first Strikes, I don't really use this one a lot uh, anymore, but it used to be good for Night Fae. Um, Whirlwind, of course, this tracks my Meat Cleaver, how many stacks I have. Uh, and rage, of course, this is really important. I always want to track and rage. And Ashen Juggernaut. I don't really use this conduit a lot anymore as well, but it used to be uh, pretty good. Then I have my offensive CDs, of course. Uh, these are my Recklessness, my Crystal, um, my uh, Season 3 affixes, and Elysian Might. It shows me when I'm standing inside and when I'm not standing inside the spear. Uh, Banner Avatar, etc. That's really good. Then uh, some general stuff. This is a weak core that tracks the weapons for Necrotic Wake. It shows you when, who is holding a hammer and a spear. 
it's it can be quite useful for pugging. Um, let's see, is there any other stuff? Uh, this one is just this one marks the the season three affix, like uh, the relics. It marks which one is which. It's quite useful. Um, I always uh, look for the icon and then I click on it. Um, yeah, I think those are my uh, the most important recourse that I'm using. Uh, this will be in the description. You can download them for yourself, but you might have to change around the positioning a bit because I'm playing on a 4K monitor and I'm not sure it will be p uh, correctly positioned when you import them. Um, but yeah, these are my recourse. Okay, so I think that's everything for my UI. If you have any more questions, um, feel free to ask them in the comment section. Um, but yeah, I think this is everything you need. You have all the add-ons that I'm using, uh, all my recourse. You can download everything from the description and uh, check them out for yourself. Of course, if you've liked this video, uh, make sure to drop a like rating. This really helps me out. Uh, the support of the of my videos have been uh, really, really nice uh, recently. Uh, I wasn't expecting this kind of support at all, but uh, you guys have been really good for me. Um, so yeah, thank you guys, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next Mythic Plus video, of course. Take care.